Hey guys, this is Carol. Um, I wanted to make a quick little video for you all today. Uh, it's late in the day, but I had some thoughts and I thought you'd really appreciate this. I've got a really good tip, short mini little lesson, won't take much time, that will help you if, I guess my question to you Chris would be, have you ever found yourself just really stuck in a rut and you couldn't figure out how to get out of it? Well, I'm going to give you a few tips, a couple few tips, on what you can do to get out of that rut. There are four basic steps that you would take. And the first one would be for you to find someone successful in whatever the area of your stuckness <laughs> happens to be, you know, whatever you're stuck in, you know, such as if you're stuck on some sort of marketing strategy that's not working for you. Go and find someone who's been really successful on that. And then number two, observe what they're doing, how they're implementing, you know, their process for that particular area that you're stuck on. And then once you do, you want to replicate exactly what they're doing as best you can to the T if you want to, if you can. I know people have actually, you know, copied their videos perfectly, you know, exactly what they were doing. But do that. Find someone who's successful. Listen to them. Observe what they're doing. Okay? Replicate it. And then the fourth thing is to make your pivot. Adjust what you are having issues with into exactly what it is that they're doing. And I'll tell you what, this works. I know, you know, from experience, I get stuck in ruts all the time. <laughs> so it's just part of who I am and it's very frustrating, but there's ways out of it. I'll give you a big one. Um, I had been in sales now for, oh my gosh, 40 years. You know, not online sales, but outside sales. I mean, from CBS to Honeywell and you name it. I mean, I did a lot of things. And I was always so very successful. I was like top of the class. You know, it's just something that came so natural to me. And then I had a tormentous childhood and adulthood and things that hit me left and right. And eventually I wound up with having a divorce and lost two husbands and in one year the last husband lost my father and my sister and I mean my world totally fell apart and I had such this strong background in sales and I had no one to turn to no money left so I had to go online to find something to do to make up for that income that I lost once my last husband passed away and I tried and I tried. I was so stuck. I spent so much money. I mean, it was obscene trying to follow this person or do what that person told me to do or whatever. And everyone always wanted more and more money. I was so stuck. You know, it was terrible. I mean, I thought, you know, it was doomsday for me. <laughs> I just, you know, I, I about lost it. But I'll tell you what, I stuck with it. And I decided to find someone online and I happened across someone, someone very successful online. And I started following this person, listening and seeing and watching everything that he would do. In other words, I found someone successful, number one. Number two, I observed him for exactly what he was doing. And then I turned around and I replicated everything that this person was doing. You know, the same strategies, ideas, thoughts, process, you know, right down to how to contacting people online. And it works. I had to pivot so much from what I naturally had known and had such a successful career with as a person working for corporate America that, you know, the internet was just so different for me. It was crazy, you know, but in using these thoughts,
thoughts, these steps of number one, finding someone successful. And Tony Robbins um, always says, and he talks about it a lot, it's role modeling, you know, and the thought was, you know, why reinvent the wheel, the wheel, right? Tongue tied, sorry. <laughs> but um, the thought is that, yeah, you find someone successful and do what they're doing. You know, observe every little thing. Observe is your second step what they're doing and learn from it so that you can then replicate what they're doing you know it's like what i did i found someone online i observed them i replicated everything that they were doing so i had to pivot my entire self as to how i was approaching people and how i was being creative online because what i was doing out here wasn't working you know it's different online and I've learned this the hard way. But you find someone successful, number one. Observe how they're doing what they're doing. Do it yourself. Replicate what they're doing. And then the last one, number four, take your whole agenda and pivot. And do it the right way because you have found someone doing it the right way. And I'll tell you what, you'll get out of that rut every time. I can almost personally guarantee it. I hate that word guarantee, but <laughs> if you need any help, I'd be happy to help you. You can find, always find me on Facebook at Carol Earl. But um, yeah, guys, so if you're ever stuck in a rut and you don't know how to get out of it, try these four little steps. Find someone successful, observe them, replicate what they're doing, and pivot your agenda. So that's all for now. I'm Carol Brown Earl signing off. I hope you all have a great day and a good upcoming weekend. So talk to you later. Bye for now. Oh, hi, guys. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> we'll see you all later. Bye for now.